Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of The Edge for Sparks Hockey. I'm Russ Layton. Uh, today we're going to once again address any questions that co are coming in from our customers and our fans out on social media and to help at sparkshockey.com. Please keep those questions coming and with that, let's hit our first question. So almost, so just over two years after starting Sparks, you're already in half the NHL locker rooms. Um, do you want to tell the story in the process of how you got into the first one? Absolutely. Uh, this is a really fun story. It, um, when we started the company again, we, we didn't really know what we were building outside of a solution for us hockey players and us hockey families to be able to sharpen our skates conveniently and consistently. So that was the, that was the goal is provide a tool for ourselves uh, to sharpen and play at a higher level. We had dreams that someday this product might be used in the NHL. We, we didn't really know what the, how we would ever make that happen or, or, or what would be the path to making that happen. Uh, but I'd love, to, you know, I'd love to share the story. And so how it, how it went down was I, in one of my men's hockey leagues, uh, I, I skate with uh, someone that had played college hockey with Don Sweeney here in Boston, who, who at the time was the assistant general manager of, of the Bruins. And, you know, I'd mentioned to him and he knew what I had, what I was building, this friend of mine. And, and so he had made a, an introduction for me to Don Sweeney uh, to basically just go and share some technology that was being developed in the hockey space, just so that, you know, Don is, is a fan of hockey and, and he's right here in, in town. So why not show him? So, a funny part about that is uh, Colleen Coyne, who heads up our marketing group here, uh, it, it was Colleen's first day on the job. Um, and, you know, her, her first day, we were going to TD Garden in Boston to meet with Don Sweeney and um, went up, you know, into the, into the back offices where all, all of the uh, administration happens for the Bruins and got a conference room and, and sat there and, and told Don the story about, about Sparks Hockey and, and what we were about and what we were trying to do. And, and he, was, he was impressed, he was, he was a great guy and, and just wanted to help as best he could and, and gave us the opportunity to get that in front of Keith Robinson with the Bruins. And in fact, the Bruins were practicing like at the same time that we were having this meeting for the next few hours. And so he called up to Keith Robinson, who was at the Bruins practice facility and said, hey, I've got these, these folks here that have a pretty neat product, you should check it out. And so we, we left TD Garden and drove to Wilmington and, and walked into the practice facility and <clears throat> went right into the locker room. On the way in, you know, we're seeing Chara and all the guys out on the, on the, on the ice practicing. And, and we, we got, you know, a half an hour to, to demo the Sparks product for for Keith and show him, you know, how it, how it aligns and how it sharpens and what benefits it has over manual sharpening. And, and from there, we, we, you know, we were just so excited that we had had that time with him and the ability to kind of, you know, just show what we've been working on for all these years to a, to an NHL quit manager. And, and from there it, you know, Keith said, you know, thanks, thanks for showing it to me. Um, you know, I'd be interested in, in being able to demo the product if you can get me a sample. Um, what's kind of the funny part about it at that time is we didn't really have even a sample to leave with Keith. So um, we only had one or two samples that we were using for demos. So we, we left that event and, and then right around that time, we, we also started working with one of the larger retailers in the world of hockey here in Boston who has a former NHL equipment manager who runs their shop. And so he started using the product. And so now we have two NHL equipment managers, former and current, that know about the product. And we, we then go to the, the annual meeting of all equipment managers for the NHL in June of last year. And there was enough talking amongst, amongst those first two individuals that we, we met with that there was a handful of NHL equipment managers that knew about Sparks Hockey. And we, we had no idea anyone knew. And we had given a presentation at that event as well where we, again, told what benefits Sparks brings to the world uh, of manual sharpening. So what, what benefits does Sparks have over manual sharpening? And there was an outpouring of interest from the NHL and equipment managers. Um, unbeknownst to us, we had struck a chord with them because they're incredibly busy. They have a lot of tasks on their plate. And 
manual skate sharpening um, is something that you know they they recognize that there may be technology someday that would come along that would replace the manual aspect of sharpening not necessarily the quality control or the the assessment of the player in terms of what hollow they should be skating on but just the act of passing that skate over the grinding wheel is something that they understood could be someday replaced by something that would be automated. And so that interest at the show went from a couple people knowing about it to a few NHL teams trialing it to now where we're in 16 or 17, I think 17 now NHL locker rooms that have our product and are using it for, for various aspects of the sharpening process. Some, some teams are using it to sharpen player skates, you know, right out onto the ice. And other teams are using it for preparation of skates after practice, preparation of skates before manual sharpening, sharpening of goalie skates. Um, there's a, a myriad of ways people are using it. Many are still, um, many actually are using it for players that are actually playing in NHL games now. So that's really exciting. And, and from what we hear from the NHL equipment managers is that this is a progression, you know, we're changing behavior. And so it's just, it's, it's gone from seeing it, trying it, using it a little bit, using it all the time. It's, it's just a progression of this technology into the NHL. So it's been very exciting and it, and it happens from just a couple initial meetings. And, and again, now we're in 16 teams and we're actually, we have uh, both teams in the Western conference finals are both Sparks hockey customers. So we will. We are assured a spot in the Stanley Cup uh, championship games now uh, with those two teams uh, using Sparks. All right, there you go. I think that's the story. I think that's it. Anything else you want to add? Uh, that's it. So that's our story for getting to the NHL. Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. Please keep the questions pouring in, and we'll talk to you next week.